Hello everyone, my name is Will Mahan. Welcome back to Saberoon Design Tutorial Blog. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we are going to talk about having the same document open in multiple windows. Over the weekend, I decided I wanted to take a shot at pixel art. One of the first things I learned was that I needed to be zoomed in enough to make the pixel grid visible while I worked. But then after every few pixels, I had to zoom out to examine my progress. The second thing I learned was that constantly zooming in and out is a huge pain. Zooming has always been a big part of Photoshop anyway, but I'm sure I've never done it as much as I have while learning pixel art. So I began digging around for solutions. Here we have our canvas with our project. The zoom is set at 1200% which makes the pixel grid pop out nicely. But who can tell what that is? From here it just looks like random blocks of color. I could zoom out to 100% to check my progress, then zoom back in and fill in a few pixels, or I can do this. In the menu bar, under the window menu, hover the cursor over the arrange option until the submenu appears. In the submenu, all the way down at the bottom, we see new window for pixelbug.psd. If we click that, Photoshop will create a duplicate of our canvas in its own document window. It's not quite a duplicate though. If we duplicate our project by going to Image Duplicate, it creates a copy of the project, but from this point forward, it's its own independent document. By choosing New Window from the Arrange submenu, we have created what's called an instance. In the case of an instance, even though there are two separate document windows, they're interlinked. Changes we make in one are reflected immediately in the other. Now that we have our new window, all that's left to do is to undock it by simply clicking and dragging it away from the document bar and then dropping it. The new document opens at 100% magnification. Once undocked, the window bounds will snap to the canvas size. Now we can move it anywhere on our canvas that's convenient and out of the way. And that's going to do it for today's tutorial. Real quickly, I'd like to remind you we have a blog full of handy tutorials, tips, and tricks. If you're interested in learning more about Photoshop in an easy-to-follow format, head on over to www.saberoon.com to see all of our content. While you're there, take a moment to like us and follow us on all the relevant social networking sites. From everyone here at Saberoon Design, I'm Will Mahan. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.